I'm trying to get you to take a picture of me. The video now. It's your everything. Oh, oh, look at his hair, y'all. Oh, I did that. I did that. And I did my hair. Yeah. Hey guys, so we're gonna jump right into this video. So I had my fiance rinse his hair with water only because look at the filth. Like look at all that buildup that he had. He disappointed me because he didn't have his hair washed in so long. So we had to go in with the superior treatment and give him an Aztec healing clay mask. And so I'm just parting his hair into four sections. And mind you, he just wet his hair with water so that it would be a little bit easier to apply the clay and i've never done this on his hair before but i made it a pretty thick consistency and i made too much of it actually but what i did was i took a spray bottle and wet his hair and even more than it was already wet like just because when you have more water when you're putting this mask in it makes it easier to apply and i mean i don't know if you know but I also have another video like this is I believe my first YouTube video that I made I have a video of me applying this on my own hair as well so you can see the wonders it works for his hair which is not fair and then you can see what it did to my hair like it does have my hair popping but what I did is separate it into smaller sections after I wet it a little bit and then I took a big glob of the clay and I basically like raked it into his hair so kind of like rubbed it into his hair and then finger detangled it because his hair is very very tangled from not having it done for a long time and he had finger coils so those we know naturally get a little bit you know a little bit more tough to handle the longer you have them so this is with majority of his hair done i just wanted to show you guys um what his texture was looking like with this clay in there so you guys could get an idea of the magic that's gonna be worked like I did the official treatment on his hair because I knew it was his birthday so he got the hookup this was a lot of labor getting done and so after I finished rubbing it in he put a video on his Instagram <laughs> his friends are hilarious they're saying he looked like Jamie Foxx from The Soloist I lost it when I saw that <laughs> and I hope y'all get a laugh out of it too all right so after we rinsed the mask out we went in with some of these two shea moisture conditioners I used the manuka honey deep conditioner and then I used the Jamaican black castor oil deep conditioner because I had a little bit of both left and I figured you know he gets that royalty treatment it's his birthday so I'm starting off using the JBCO deep conditioner first. I'm not getting a whole bunch of it because his hair is very wet, which is good. And so I'm just rubbing that into his hair and finger detangling a little bit before I use my brush. And that bus brush is the truth. Now I'm going in with the Manuka Honey um, deep conditioner from Shea Moisture that's what i put in a second before i wrapped it up so this is his hair fully deep conditioned and i put my heat cap in the microwave for one minute and you guys <laughs> we started laughing right here because we were both like this looks like a beret <laughs> he looks like he's a i thought he looked like a black panther he thought that he was in the military you see where we got confused nah i had to tell him you got to do the right one honey like we got to do this over we need to do the black power fist because we black and we proud um so now after we rinsed out his hair i'm using the jamaican black castor oil line from as i am but i'm only using the leave-in conditioner the hair smoothie and then the spray and then i also use some of candy's cosmetics um shea shea butter i believe it is i put it up there y'all can see it i'm gonna put it in the description you'll know what it is and so first I put the JBCO water in his hair and, you know, rubbed it in. And then I got some of the curl smoothie. Oh, no, just kidding. I have more leave-in conditioner. And I also forgot when he rinsed his hair out, when he rinsed out the deep conditioner, I had him immediately apply the leave-in conditioner before he left the bathroom. And I hope you can hear my hands smacking because it's important. 
I learned this from Carla Chris and I also learned it from um, Kimberly Sherelle. Those are the two people that said, if you have this textured hair, put your leave-in conditioner in before you leave the shower. So you better listen to that advice because if more than one person is saying it, it's probably true. All right, so then I comb that in through his, into his hair and next I'm going to do the curl smoothie. So it's important to me, at least like when I get these very moisturized results to do things in this order. So I'm using the Jamaican black castor oil smoothie from as I am and I'm rubbing that all through his hair, massaging it into his hair, making sure it's getting in and then separating out a piece, curling it up. I'm gonna use a little bit more of the JVCO smoothie in his hair the curl smoothie in his hair. I'm gonna rub that in very well. And then I'm gonna get some of the um, body butter that I use in hair. So then this is me massaging in that shea butter and it's an unscented shea butter. So it doesn't smell like anything, but it provides, like it locks in the moisture, you guys. And when you do a braid out, twist out, whatever, you get such defined results when you follow this method that I have right here. So you see also when I'm twisting, I'm smoothing that piece that I twist over. So the most recent part of my hair that's twisted or his hair that's twisted, I smooth down and then I wrap my finger around the end and basically just coil the end. And I did that on all his hair. Some of his hair, as you'll see, I um, trim the end just because his ends are a little crazy. He doesn't really get his hair cut as often as he should up top or at least not cut the way that I think he should. So working on this last section, I sprayed it down with a little bit more water because it was a little bit dry. And now I'm going to do, follow the same steps. I'm gonna get some more of that um, smoothie, rub it in his hair, massage it in, and then seal it off with that shea butter and then twist it up. So this is the oil here. And as you can see, I got a lot, but I'm really, really, really gonna rub it into his hair and try and make sure that I spread it evenly because it's easy for the butter to get clumped in your hair. So it's kind of good to warm it between your fingers first and then work it into the hair as well. Like you see, I'm working it into his hair for a really long time before I start the twist. And I did that with like each section because I knew, I was like, baby gotta be popping for his birthday. We can't be out here playing. Let me do his hair like I would do my own. So how are you doing these different than how you typically do them? What do you mean? Because you, you do the finger. That's how you wanted it? Bruh. You said a twist out, Rashad. Dude, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I should have double asked you, bro. So this is, not yeah, because this is. It's not the same. You wanted finger coils. Yeah, because that was, that lasts longer. Remember we talked about that? <sighs> Child. Cause I'm gonna have to undo these. Yes. Yeah, no, nah, I remember. These are this is how my hair was done for Davion Lawanda's wedding. Yes. No. Now I'm not. That means I needed to use whole entirely different products. Well, I mean, this it's nothing we could do about it. It's already done. Here is the finished result result of his twist out before it's dry. As you can see, they very juicy. Yes, his hair does have white in it, but you know, it's just gonna take a little while to soak in. In the coming clips, you will see that this has gone away and his hair is nice and shiny and pretty and coily and just a wonderful twist out. Three days later. So here's one side unraveled, the other side not unraveled. Like, do you see the definition? 
there's so much definition in that hair i wish it was my twist out like look at that look and it moves all bouncy and so he wanted finger coils and he got them. So what I did to achieve this is I used wet line, wet line Extreme Gel and I just soaked each twist and I separated each twist into about four pieces and just did finger coils around each twist. So his definition came out so bomb and so popping. I really don't know if it's because I did a twist out first and then did finger coils or if like this is just the concoction that I used on his hair made the results so popping. Like earlier in the video, I said I would have to use entirely different products to do it to a cell. But then at the end of this video, you can see I didn't. Like I was really able to achieve a popping finger coil with all those what I would call heavy products in the hair and not ones I would typically do finger coils with. I would do more so gel to make sure that, you know, everything stayed. But this came out so good. And they're just so juicy. And, and then the Wet Line Extreme Gel is one of my favorite gels now. First of all, price is amazing for the amount that you get. But it also result, results in bomb results like you're not getting flakiness it's not crunchy like your hair holds its shape it's lovely and these last finger coils right here i slowed down for y'all so that you guys can see it a little bit better because my fiance said that it's harder than he thought it was so i'm just slowing it down to show you i'm literally just like wrapping it around my finger and then pinching it kind of like how you would do a ribbon on a um, some scissors i guess that's the best example i could think of but it causes your hair to like spring and coil up so close up not dry it still looks popping and you can see like it's getting tighter as it dries because the drier side is a little bit tighter than the other side that i just recently completed did husband's hair for his birthday look at how pretty it is this is not fair it looks so good like look at how it moves oh my god oh my goodness wait till y'all see the video for this um but on guy i don't know how long it's gonna take for me to edit it but look at these curls Shit. thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video or if you would like to see more like this just let me know be sure to comment like and you know of course you guys support your girl and subscribe thank you so much bye